I've got a lot of banana peppers here left over from the garden. So I am going to can them today. It's really easy to do. So I will show you how to do it. Here we go. First, you're going to rinse off all those banana peppers to make sure they're clean, and then you're going to start cutting them into rings. You don't have to cut them into rings though if you don't want to. You can actually can these whole the same way that I'm doing it with them in rings. I also don't worry about getting the seeds out, but if you don't like the seeds being in there, you can dig out the seeds as well. Here they are, and they're all finished being cut up. Now we'll get ready to pack our jars. And we gotta sterilize those jars first. So you can do it in the oven at 250 for 10 minutes, but as you can see, I was already cooking dinner, so I just threw them in there to sterilize them. Now we've got a big pot of water on the stove. We're gonna bring that to a boil while we prep our jars and fill them up and put the brine in them. Now we've got our sterilized jars out. We're gonna pack these things with the peppers. Okay, so now we are going to take our six cups vinegar, two cups water, one tablespoon sugar, and one tablespoon and a teaspoon of pickling salt. Here's all of our ingredients to this pot, and we're gonna bring it to a boil, and then we will pour that over our peppers in our candy jars. Then it's ready to can, it's that simple. There's our brine. We're gonna now fill our jars. It was boiling, but I took the lid off there and shut it off so it stopped. And you wanna leave a half inch head space, which just means you're gonna leave a half an inch of space between the fluid and the top of the jar. Now, most likely, if you're only doing three jars like I'm doing, you are gonna have liquid left over. That's okay. You can save it until the next time you can something. Now, the water here is almost to a boil, so I'm just gonna make sure that the tops of my jars are dry, which they are. If they're not, just wipe them off with your paper towel. And then, you're gonna grab your lids, dip them in the boiling water just for a couple of seconds, and this helps to sterilize your lids. And then you'll put those lids on your jars. And then you'll put your bands, or some people call them rings, onto your jar. And you want to tighten it tight. Now, your jar is going to be hot because the liquid that's in there was just boiling. So don't burn yourself. And then, when this gets to a boil, we'll put the jars in there and we'll water bath them for 10 minutes. We're out of boil, so I'm going to set them in there. Now, I will say if you look here, you'll notice that there is just fluid at the bottom and no peppers. I normally like to fill my jars. You can really see in this one. I normally like to pack them so tight to where they're stuffed from the bottom to the top, but that's all the peppers that I had. So anyway, that's what it looks like. But if you've got more peppers, pack them in there as much as you can. Now I'm just gonna set them in there. If you don't have one of these things, I don't even know what it's called, but to put the jars in there, you can definitely just put on a waterproof oven mitt like this and set it down in there. Or you can use some tongs. I've done it with all that stuff before I had all these official canning supplies and. All of it works if you're a first time canner. You can kind of use what you have in your kitchen, but there you go. You do want to give them space and you want to make sure there's at least an inch of water over top of your jars. But I'm actually going to space them out a little bit better since there's not very much in there. And that's it. I'm going to cover this thing up. We're going to let it boil for 10 minutes and then we'll pull them out and it's done. And here they are, all done. I pulled them out after 10 minutes of boiling in the water bath, set them on this towel and now we'll let them cool down. Now. When you pull these things out, you don't want to shake them, tip them upside down. You don't want to press on the lids. Just completely leave them understirred for 24 hours while they cool down on the counter on a towel like this. And then you're good to go. You might even hear the popping sound if you're nearby when the lids seal. But that's it.
So easy and so delicious.